I can feel it. Yeah, I'm not paralyzed. Yeah, just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean you're paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people assume that. Yeah. Uh, and me and you haven't really had been able to have this conversation because, you know, we're at shows and we're busy. Yeah. So this is like the perfect time to have that. It was... It's very hard. Because I, I think before, before cause it, it, it is a big transition because I think we did, what, one or two... I think we did one, one or two pop swaps that we set up at where we were just on Funko Pops at first mm-hmm. before my accident. And then afterwards... As I was going into a wheelchair, and it, it's at first it, it, it did. I mean, it, it got me. It was a lot more complicated because you know like that you have to worry about entrances to the doors, and then if you have to use the restroom, you have to worry about places that make sure they're they're handicapped accessible, yeah. and if it's up to par with the, yeah. the code and everything. Because yeah. some places will say that they'll have the handicaps there, but it's not. It's small. Yeah. You know, not big enough I mean, for a wheelchair to go through. Exactly. I've been through that. I mean, it's a certain show that. That's all. That's, <laughs> Hey, that's that's a big thing because you can't get wheelchair into a porta potty. Right. It's it's it's, mm-hmm. it's a big old. That's one of the first it's things. Not easy. Yeah, and not only that, you I mean it, it's at first. I think after my accident I, and I was able to get into wheelchair, I would just go to work at home. I did that for like a good six months. He I wouldn't avoiding. go anywhere. Yeah. For that very avoiding. fact, I would avoid anything. Not only that, just I, I, <laughs> I growing up, I'd always. You know, my, I'd always be working outside with my dad, helping him at the rodeos and stuff. My mm-hmm. parents would have a rodeo arena. Yeah. And I always worked with horses and cleaned stables and, and did a bunch of stuff for my parents and always depended on, on no one else. Yeah, yeah he was just very me, I was independent. Very, you know, he, I never depended on anyone to help. Yeah. I always did stuff myself. So to transition to that, to being in a wheelchair and needing help getting into a vehicle and then getting mm-hmm. Rachel moving in the wheelchair whenever I get into a car. Or, yeah. You know, especially at, at night. You know, it sucks at night because of the fact that you know, Rachel's asleep and if I have to go do something or go, go, go even Cody's the restroom I have to Rachel bring the wheelchair yeah. and I grew up and even when we're at Pop Swap there's still the Pop Swaps that we do that they don't you can't you know and I hate can I have one to your house whenever the, the event's outside yeah that's like shit like what are we gonna do I, so you know exactly what you mean with yeah, that yeah bro so it, it, it's that part of it and not we only that a lot I mean, of apologizing because he always apologized to me he's like I'm so sorry I, you know I can't do this I'm not like it. you know I'm here for the long run like you know this, like we've been together. What's gonna be fifteen years? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Richard went to high school, so yeah. fifteen mm-hmm. years together, and it's. I think. This accident of, of this and, and me having to be dependent on her on some things, mm-hmm. it, it. Made things a lot closer to where that yeah, shoot. Uh, we were fourteen years, and we still weren't married yet. And it wasn't until after the accident yeah. that I decided, well, I think it's time to get married. Yeah, <laughs> well, we were gonna get married before, like that that year after yeah. what, what his accident, but it was. In January, and you know, life happened, and we pushed yeah. it back, and mm-hmm. then we were like, oh, you know, let's just go to the courthouse. Is what it, what the plan was yeah. for our wedding. But it, it was hard. Like the transitioning was, because I, I got thing about it, I spent, I wasn't in a wheelchair. Accident happened. I was in the, the hospital. Did three surgeries. Mm-hmm. Had to get blood transfusions. Laid in the bed for three months straight. To have to go and move myself around and, and yeah. get in and out of a wheelchair, yeah. I was weak as hell. Like I had no more strength in my arms. My my my, my, my I just felt weak. So like the first six months, I would struggle. Like we struggled so much to be able to, you know, stand on on one leg. And then whenever I have to get up into bed or, or yeah. you know move around, it sucks. Like moving around to wheelchair, it took some time to get used to. It took a lot of time to get used to. Not only that, you gotta you gotta make sure we're in a even with pop swaps, like when I do shows and stuff, I gotta make sure I'm close to close to an area where I'm not where I can move around and maneuver, and you know that changes everything. Your setup, your, your yeah, because you feel odd sometimes, bro. Like I've noticed yeah. that when we started doing shows after my accident, like I had to make sure we set everything up to where I could be in one corner or where I won't be in the way. Right, you because you, you don't want to feel in the way. Yeah, dude, and it's because you, you're in this big thing sitting yeah. there, and you're like, I can't really move. There's a lot of people. And there's grass, you know, with yeah. circles. Oh, yeah. Turning and stuff. I don't like, I'll get invited to like parties or houses or whatever. I'm like, well, I don't go. A lot of times it's because like, it's weird to be like, oh, well, how's your restroom? Can I get in it? Yeah. And like, oh, you'll be yeah. fine. Then you get there and you can't get in it. Yeah. Well, now it's like, well, can I, can I pee in your bedroom? And it's like weird. It's like, what do you do? Yeah. You know, it's the weirdest it's, thing. Yeah, it's odd. It's weird with that. Um, it took some time for me to get used to a lot of times I didn't like to like, but my, my, my family, my side of the family is real family orientated. So mm-hmm. like they go to dinners on Friday nights, Saturdays, they go, I have a school at this restaurant. And I'll invite yeah. them with my brothers. Yeah. And I used to always go. I would yeah. always go and everything. Or, or I'd go into my, house. or go, yeah, I would have it at my dad's house and he lives on a ranch. Yeah. 
and he lives in a, and his ranch has like a double wide trailer that has stairs and shit like that. So like, I was like, dude, how the hell am I going to get it to your house? Like, it, I had to get used to all that. That had to change. And like, we used to always go to all family get togethers at my dad's house. And now I can't do that because of the fact that I won't be able to go up the thing. And he finally got a, a ramp built in. Like he literally went and got a ramp built and everything for it nice. just so I can go there. But the yeah. first year, we have to do it at my house. Right? Yeah. And they would have to come to my house because of the fact my wheelchair couldn't get into their, their ranch and stuff. Right. But that was, it took me a while to get used to that. The the whole tedious stuff with the pops, pops and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the biggest thing that I had to get over is is kids staring, bro. Yep. Yeah, I was that, gonna get that. That was it. one thing I always switched. Like, hey, when I have, like, hey, what the, the, the fuck was looking at? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that kid is kid. They're bold. He actually still won't go to the kids' events because he just feels really? like, I feel odd. Yeah, He's I uncomfortable. Feel weird. Yeah, I feel, I feel uncomfortable a lot, bro. Yeah. Like, like a kid, Bella has like some at school. I don't, I don't know. It's it it passes. Me. That passes because you realize they're kids, and it's more on the parents to not, you know, hey, like people yeah. with different like, nations there. Isaiah's friends, and they're like. Why are you in a wheelchair? Yeah. What happened? So bold. Why are you like, like that? Oh, I didn't know your dad was in a wheelchair. Well, why does <laughs> like, it What happened to your dad's leg? <laughs> just look at it. Like, bro, I was playing hide and seek. Still haven't found that fucker. Just like, <laughs> no, you tell them. Oh, she pushed me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's one thing I would tell people. Or I, I would tell Isaiah's friends. Or Isaiah like, hey, my friends don't know what happened in a wheelchair, dad. And he's like, just tell me your mom pushed me. I'm mad one day she pushed me. So he tells oh. everyone that. like, yeah, my mom got mad and she pushed my dad. I'll, I'll tell them my parents cut me in half because I was a bad kid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, why you like so little? Well, <laughs> don't be bad. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's, I think that's one of the main things that, and just it it's it sucks because some places aren't wheelchair friendly. They're though. not. They're they, not. They, they might have a they might have a handicap parking spot. They mm-hmm. might have you know a restaurant or that, but mm-hmm. it's so enclosed it's now that you can't go in. Like well, even today we went to Olive Garden, and there is like three handicaps and like ten to go parking, yeah. and it's yeah. like where is <laughs> that? They got to oh, carry yeah. away with that. Yeah. It's like, how does that balance out? We did that the other day. We went to for her birthday. We went to go eat that hibachi place over off of uh, Our Cooper. Cooper. Oh, Cooper. Yeah. Uh, what's the place called? Mr. Something. Uh-huh. Mr. Something. Yeah. Mr. Something. Yeah. Mr. Child. It's a hibachi oh. place. But <laughs> I was getting mad. I don't like it. There was like right one now. handicap spot on the front of that yeah. whole, like, it's a whole strip. It ain't even just one restaurant, but it's a whole strip. Yeah. But there's one handicap spot. And then. There's two. And this, okay, I was really aggravated. And everybody was like, no, don't do it. I was like, no, I'm going to go. Because I'm the first one. I don't like confrontation. I don't like confrontation. I don't feel like I'm, I'm bugging someone. And Rachel don't, she yeah. don't care. <laughs> she literally parked the car in a regular spot, went and walked to the until that guy's in the car. Are you waiting on something? I was like. No, I'm just waiting for my girlfriend to get out of work. And I'm like, well, I need the spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was like, I was like, my husband's in a wheelchair. He needs this parking spot. And he's like, oh, okay. He rolled back the window. I was like. You didn't tell me if you were going to move or not. So then I get back in the car and yeah. I park right behind him, like, yep. so where he can yeah. move out. And I'm just sitting there waiting for my emergency lights on. I was like, hey, why don't you move? And he was like, just <laughs> park somewhere else. I'm like, no, this is a handicap spot. Yeah. This is meant for you to come without in and out of your right. wheelchair easily. You know, like, no. Yeah. And he finally moves. And he, okay, this guy was didn't have a handicap plaque or nothing. So, yeah. you know, like, if he had the plaque, then I'd be like, okay, he needs a spot more than we do. You know, but... No, are you empty? Have y'all noticed like how many people that don't need it use it? You like the spots? Park there, yeah. They're there because they're trying to go in and out of wherever they're right. going. I'm like, yeah. that's not meant for that. And they, even even when we're like we go somewhere and like if I don't get off, yeah. Rachel don't park in a handicap spot. Like mm-hmm. Right. Like, we yeah. go to the grocery store. Because there's someone else that needs yeah. it. Yeah. You know? And so same we're the same. Yeah. We're gonna just park there because we can. Yeah. No, if I'm getting out it's one thing, but I don't think there is a time that we had, earlier we had that today. Yeah, the guy parked there. He wasn't supposed to be parked there. Yeah, yeah. So well, like they had just the pulled right in, that. like, and then he's just chilling. Yeah. And I just pe- think people just don't. Well, I don't know if they don't care, but they just don't think about it, you know. But I've been, been with some like instances where we've had to have people who, because they're on the ramp to get oh, yeah. on over, you know, in yeah. onto the sidewalk, oh, yeah. and then they're mad because they have to move. You're like, well, you're blocking. You're in a no parking area. Yeah. You're ha- you park shitty. And you're half the handicap, half the lines, and you're covering the ramp. It's like, yeah, come on. Remember when we went to go to the crab place? We had to, like, go all oh, the yeah. way around. Oh, yeah, because it's yeah. like, we went to uh, King Crab in uh, Arlington. Oh, previously boiling King Crab. And, like, the buildings over here and the handicap, just the ramp, was, like, way over there. So we had to go down the entire uh, park here, go park down. At the, at the park small? Yeah, right yeah, there, yeah. yeah. It's 
terrible. Yeah. And no, not everybody's handicap friendly. No. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things that. Or they'll, they'll do the bare minimum. To yeah. say they are. Just put code. Just so get the code. Don't, they don't. Like, even now, like, even, well, even before, like, I would park far because mm. I'm like, what if someone has a younger child than I do? You know, they need a, it's a longer walk. For yeah. Them. I'll, I'll park further back. There's times where I'm just like, okay, I'm lazy. I kind of want to park close. But, you know, like, all the other times, I'm like, I think about everyone else. Like, I have to be considerate for other people because, you know. Yeah. You it, know. It, it, like, I can ask everything. It, it, it hit me hard, like damn, dude. Uh, the spinner does this every single day, like, mm-hmm. uh, like so. after the accident, like, cause I, I've known you before, Max. I knew you, I knew you for a good year and a half before. Right. Then. Yeah. Exactly. So like, as soon as the transition to that, I had, and I started having these wheelchair, like, damn, fuck. No hey. wonder how fucking spinners just working really, arms and shoulders. It makes you very there. humble, like, if you think about yeah. it, like, you know, it knocks you down in your ass, and you just sit there and think, like, all yeah. the things I took for granted. Right. You know. It uh, well, like, is there any questions you have? Like, just to kind of get through things. You know, because I'm a pro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pro with this, so, you know, if I can help in any way, you know, that's why I wanted to talk to you. How did you deal with it, like, with the whole transition as well? I know we got his side, but how were you? Oh, it, it was, okay, like, I, it was different learning things. Yeah. Just, like, pretty much, like, tell people, like, you know, you're le- learning how to walk, pretty much, again, like, as a mm. kid, you know, you're learning how to walk before you run. Right. And so, like... It, it was a, a new thing, a new change, and I had the smallest car, so I had to get a bigger car, yeah. a more convenient oh, car yeah. for me. That time we had a, at that time when the accident happened, we had a, a Scion, a little, the two-door Scion. I remember. He <laughs> said, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. My, my kids are older, you know, they can get an in and out of that two-door with no problem, yeah. you know, no big thing. But then we had to get a bigger car, and then I was the, the rock. I had to be the rock, and you know, he's always been that rock for me because I've yeah. always had issues, you know. But um, it, it, didn't, it took a while to finally hit me, mm. and when it hit me, it hit me hard. Like I was saying earlier, I locked myself in the room, I couldn't, I wouldn't be out with the kids, I would just, I just wanted to be alone. Yeah. And you know, in the dark. And it was like, oh, why are you in the house? I have a migraine. Yeah. It was always a migraine. But I just wanted to be alone in my room. Just mm-hmm. for a while, she had to get rid. She had to worry about the bills because I, I was, I was always a person. I mean, now I, I do it now again. But back then, for Max and I'd worry about the bills when they're due. We have to pay them. Uh, you know, making sure we have everything for all, for all, all our expenses are. Or, left to that was to Rachel. Our, our lectures in a while get cut off. <laughs> 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 I don't leave it to Rachel to make sure. Not, not that way that that she don't know how to pay. She just forgets about it. She I'm very forgetful. Much. Which yeah. one they're doing everything. Yeah. And at Especially that when you time, dust so much on your mind, it's easy for you. Yeah. yeah, and at that time, she had to worry about that. Because yeah. I, was, I was at the hospital when I was at home. And for, like I said, for a good five, six months, man, like, I, I was I was out of it. Like, I, I, just, was, I was mad. Person. I was depressed. I was I was just like, dude. Because like, cause when that happened, I didn't know if I was going to start that deal with Zoe. I didn't know. Like, I literally just signed my life away for, for five years mm-hmm. for this loan. And now I can't even, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use it. Yeah. So I was depressed. So Rachel had to worry about taking the kids to school. Rachel had to worry about work. Rachel had to worry about the bills. Rachel had to worry about all this stuff. And it just it took a toll on me. And you know I finally I know it hit me how bad it was when I snapped on the wrong person. And it was very it hit me hard that I just gone off on someone that I shouldn't have gone off on. Yeah. And so I finally made the decision to go talk to my doctor. And as I'm sitting there talking to the doctor, I am like crying, like snot running down my nose. Like it was bad. And I'm yeah. like, I just, I just need meds. Just give me meds. Okay. I just, I need something that will help me right away. He's like, well, maybe you need to talk to a therapist. I said, I don't need to talk to a therapist right now. Just give me some damn meds is what I need. And we started off on 50 and then, which was, it helped me good. And then I lost my grandfather and my grandfather was like a second dad to me pretty much because growing up um in El- and I, in los angeles we had this house mm-hmm. um it, these houses there they are ones in the front there's one in the middle and there's one in the back we lived in the middle and you know i would always sneak out of my house in the middle of the night and go to my grandparents house and sleep with them and i was always with my grandfather like i did walking with him i did everything with him and so when i lost him it hit me hard and like I got to 
the point where I was having anxiety because he died of stomach cancer. Um, and then my sister also had cancer. So then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get tested for everything. So then I she was stressing over everything. Yeah, mm. I went and got tested for breast cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, like thyroid cancer, stomach cancer. I got tested for everything. I'm like, yeah. can you just... And then the doctor said, maybe we just need to up your medicine. I'm like, okay. So then I'm, now I'm still at 100 uh, milligrams of Zoloft. And... I'm not as bad though. Like I said, I don't have to worry about the machine. Now that I'm, I've gone, it took about eight, six months, but you yeah. know, I'm back at, yeah. I can do, I'm, like I said, I'm back at work doing everything I used to do. It's just about the walk. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, but, it, it's still, wanted, I mean, I, you know, I'm glad we did this because, you know, I didn't know like all that. And yeah. I, I knew you're, lot, y'all had man. gone through, but yeah. you know, like, everything in between, you know, it's a lot, you know. It's and, not something you really talk about either. Yeah. I don't know, really, because like I said, a lot of people don't know, like, because a lot of people that order off of me and get my cases, they don't really know anything about me yeah. and Rachel. Because I said, our Instagram is under my business. And I don't post anything like family related on my business page. Yeah. Or on my Facebook. Really. I don't really post anything on my Facebook unless it's like a get together with family or something. Because I'll right. tag that we're in somewhere. But I don't post about my accident. I don't post about any of it. So like, I think a lot of people don't know. Like, I think I, I think if customers knew about my past and what happened to me and that I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah. They wouldn't hang me up so hard about getting orders done like right after yeah. you just got yeah. the order. Mm-hmm. But like, it's, dude, it's, it's... We don't want to put, you don't want to really pull that yeah, card, right? It's kind of a pride like, thing too. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, bro. Because I'm in a just I wheelchair. That's why, I, that's why I was glad. <laughs> I was glad that, that, you know, it sucks I lost my leg but at yeah. least I didn't, because I couldn't have fallen, I could have hit my head with concrete. Yeah. I could have snapped my arm or, or, or something. It, and, you um, know, you never know. Yeah, because like I said, my, my work is I use my hands and I use my mind. Like, without that, you know, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Right. So, so it, it's it's a blessing, kind of, in a way. Because not only that, I don't drink. I don't let my drinking get out of control like I used to. Yeah. Because it taught me, like, that was the main reason that hacks and happened was I was drinking too much. Yeah. But... And then that happened. My mom gets so mad that we jump around. It, now it's gone to a point where I don't, I don't. There's sometimes I still get like when I get overwhelmed with work and I have so many orders happening yeah. or, or something happens and because every once because every once in a while the, the laser will have some maintenance you got to do to it and it won't engrave properly yeah. or something or the temp changes or seven bucks a pop uses a different material because like there's, there's they've changed their their like material three, three different times already in the past yeah. year. So every time they order from overseas, it comes. If it's not the exact same type of material, mm-hmm. the engraving won't come out correctly. Yeah. So, so we have to do a whole literally process. Literally spend a couple of days of, of room cases to make sure it's done correctly. When time with that happens, I get stressed. I get stressed. And I get in my moods, and it's just. And I don't like taking medications and stuff. Yeah. I don't like. I don't either. I, don't I hate. Like, I like that it changes your mood. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Your mood and stuff, and I don't like it. Like I don't. I don't like taking. I don't. I think the only strongest meds I take is like Advil or, or mm-hmm. ibuprofen. Right, over the counter. The only med- meds I take is is gabapentin. Okay. Because that's nerve nerve pain. That's for my okay. my, my phantom pain. Yeah. Okay. If not, then I, mean, I get so much pain at night. Yeah, Advil ain't helping that. Yeah. 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 That's all my. It's all on your mind. It's mental too. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. So it's your nerves. It's your nerves thinking your foot, your legs still there. Mm-hmm. That's one of the worst things with gabapentin, I mean, like or the phantom pain, because that that don't go away. Like I, it's been two years now, and I still get it just as bad as in the first. Yeah. Uh, especially during the cold weather. During the cold weather, it hurts oh. bad. Yeah. And then, so. like, um, you know, in our pages, our all of our group, our, like, pop pages, we were always active, very mm-hmm. active. Mm-hmm. And then I think after this, we just started, slowly started coming down from it. And, like, now I don't even show my face on on our pages anymore. Used I, used I used to post a lot on Facebook and I remember, stuff. And you used to go live with your parties and yeah, stuff. No, but it looks no. live over there. Like, yeah. They do it. That, but like even in the Funko groups, I used to do walls all the time. I used yeah. to do, I used to just be more active in your group and stuff. Mm-hmm. But now I just, it's, it's overwhelming. Like it's, because mm-hmm. I get home tired. I get home tired, exhausted yeah. from being in the chair all day. It's, it's a lot mm-hmm. different. It's, now, now, I, now I understand like, because there's times that you take a hiatus, like you won't be on Facebook, you won't yeah. be in the group. Oh, you know, then take a little mental break. Yeah, because yeah. it does. Like, it stresses you a lot, man. Yeah. yeah. I know in the past the times I've heard from Edgar, it's like in the middle of the night, and I'm like, what is this yeah, guy? Yeah, up late. Yeah, yeah, but I have bad insomnia, bro. I get it. Like, yeah, I like, understand. I have bad insomnia. Like, I can't sleep at night. Same. The doctor gave me medicine for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't take it. Like, I don't take it because I don't want the way it makes me feel. Like, if I take it, if I take it too late, I'll be groggy the next day at work, and I just don't yeah. like the way it makes me yeah. feel. Yeah. Got to time it perfectly. 
Oh, shit. Yeah. I, used, I used it for my tooth pain when I had a wisdom teeth and so like that. Oh, oh yeah. I think we talked about that, yeah, because yeah, I had it around the same you time. Did. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that pain's unbearable, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's the transition was was hard to get over at first. Yeah. I mean, it still mm-hmm. is. I still have my moods, but it's a more... That's why I, that's why I see people who... who like I, there's people I've seen post that they're all sad about. Oh, I hate my job this or man, yeah. I wish I had this or so they do. It's like put the effort in. I know plenty mm. of people like you're in right. a wheelchair. Put him, yeah. I'm in a fucking wheelchair and I, they, you know, I still manage to run the business. If you don't put the effort in it, a lot of people don't think that they think this business comes easy when it comes to any kind of business. So yeah, if you don't put to. effort in it, you're not gonna go nowhere. It's and not just, only that, just people you surround yourself around, bro. Like, yeah. I still know people in, that I went to school with. That are, are crying about their job, or crying about not having money, or crying about tickets, or partying, and hung the hangovers. Like, dude, and they're like, oh, I wish I had a better job, or this, or this. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, you're only going to be as successful as the people you hang around with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You hang around with a bunch of people who all they do is party, and guess what? You ain't going to go nowhere. Mm-hmm. You're going to party, you're going to blow your money on that. Like, I don't have any money. Mike, I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> yeah. But I, you know what? My bills are paid. Yeah. Yeah. My, dad. my kids have what they want. I live comfortably. Our fridge is full. Yeah. I live comfortably. I'm not like, as much as we're making off of these, I don't, I could charge, if I want to charge, I charge what other people are charging. Yeah. Not going to make a bank, but, I said, I don't, I don't, my business is to have my work out there in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I mean, even autographs, like, you've seen the stuff I have on the table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, know, you go on eBay, they're going to charge you, you know, anywhere between, you know, like that Diggs jersey I gave away at, yeah. at, uh, at Randy's thing. Those things are selling right now. It's up for 300 bucks. Yeah, all day. I gave it to them. I gave, yeah. it to them. I don't know, I gave away two already to giveaways. Yeah. Same thing with the, that Zeke jersey I sold for 100 bucks. Yeah. Uh, You're not going to find those. Manny things. Pacquiao autograph glove I sold for 150. I don't remember how much he sold it. And that guy gets home and he puts it on. I'm uh, like, dude, don't. Put it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put his hands wow. on. Wow. I had it in a display case and everything, and I sold it to him, and he's all hyped about it. Next thing you know, he adds it's me weird. on Instagram, and then I see on his story, he puts the glove on, yeah. and he puts the the, uh, the uh, Rocky background yeah. music. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, the glove swinging around. Full cornball. That's, That's hilarious. hilarious. But you know and what? And it's Katie's like, Hey, a, it's his. He loves it. Yeah. Probably never plans to sell it, you know. Yeah, like, I mean, it's an easy three hundred fifty, four hundred dollar glove. That's it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> and, but yeah, yeah, it's. But, but. Uh, and I think helping uh, the transition also helped that I've gone through this before with my dad, mm-hmm. but it wasn't through my mom's eyes until now. I see what my mom's gone through. Yeah. You know, um, my dad had an accident. He had a car accident. He lost his arm. Um, so, you know, I've always dealt with being in a child of an amputee, you know, and yeah. until now I see what my mom's gone through and I, it helped with my mom knowing a lot more stuff than I knew what to do. Yeah. Um, and so like if I needed help with something, I'm like, mom, what do I do? She's like, well, first calm down. And she's like, you know, you do this, this and that. And I'm like, okay. This yeah. sucks, you know, I know you can relate to like it. It's yeah. Yeah. For sure. Cause even like my mom, uh, I mean, they ain't, you know, there was brand new, I came out with like, they say when I was born, like my legs were like up here. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, so like, they had to like fix me and broken bones as a kid, so I know that like, they had to adjust and everybody who like comes around me, new people that hang out, they have to adjust too. Yeah. And they, they kind of be like, oh, like I didn't realize everything you go through. So you kind of learn, yeah. you know, you kind of see it through yeah. those eyes been going through it, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It did make us stronger though, because our relationship. Oh yeah, honestly. That's good. Honestly, I don't think our business would be at without the accident. Like I wasn't pushing it as hard. Like after the accident, it, it made me think, like, dude, I gotta push this if I wanted to go anywhere. Like, I gotta push it, and I have to make. I have to make. So if I don't push it now, we're gonna lose a laser. We're not gonna make any business from it. Yeah. it it's, it's so. I mean, and that only kept me sane. The, the business, our side business, and the stacks, Funko Pops, and stuff like that, that kept me. Kept my mind straight because now I'll probably end up getting more depressed than yeah. I usually get. Cause, I mean, it's, it still gets to us, but right. business is what kept me from going. And like the events, my kids love it. I mean, I, oh, I, think, yeah, they, they yeah. I think everybody everybody knows Isaiah, like every vendor. Love him. When it gets to the point to where yeah. Isaiah's like, Dad, can you make some cowboy stuff? Because I know the next time we can take it to Jay. <laughs> Jay yeah. will buy it. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, he's like, a hustler. He's a he hustler. Is. He walks yeah. around. He walks hey, around. Hey, you want to buy a cup? <laughs> and dude, okay, it doesn't help. Uh, not that I'm biased, but you know, it doesn't help that my son is so cute. And he's 
like very like yes, very he is, he is there. forward too. And, uh-huh. You know, like you know, he's my son. Don't give a shit. So he'll go up to someone and be like, hey, you, 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 you want? You want I know, this? like the pop shops. Like he'll come, and it's funny though because. Like to to them, they 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 they've grown around the business with pop pops and all yeah. that, so they don't know, they don't know like, to them this is normal, but like they 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 like the other day my my daughter Bella was like, hey, can I make a, a birthday gift for my friend? Like, can you engrave this this is in this cup? And I was like, okay, and I got the cup, engraved it. She took it. It's like, dad, my friends want to know how much. And he's like, how much it was? Like, how much for the cups? I was like, I have to touch all them too. Oh, engraved. <laughs> yeah. cool. And I was like, so they 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 like literally that every day because at home. We get, like I said, we're at the shop all day, like sometimes yeah. late. So Rachel will pick up the kids, bring them home. And Isaiah and Bella got in the habit, especially Isaiah. Mm-hmm. We'll go into my office, and he'll, if, if I leave out any keychains or pins mm-hmm. or anything, he'll grab them. Dad, can I have this? I'm going to put on my backpack. Yeah. He'll go home, and then next day he'll come He'll come home from school, and the pin's not on his backpack. Like, yeah. Where'd your pin go? Oh, I sold it to a kid for a dollar. What'd you do with the money? Oh, I put it in my lunch account for chips. So they, hey. it's in their blood, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's in That's their blood. good. Yeah. 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 That's why a lot of a lot of, a lot of people are like your kids go get every pot swap. And I'm like, yeah. It's like that's your son. Like I don't know his name, but Isaiah Isaiah knows more of the vendors than I do. Like because I said I'm at my booth. Yeah. I don't go anywhere. Like, it's hard to, to go around. Yeah. Yeah. So Isaiah will go. So but that kind of walk around. He'll go walk around. He'll come yeah. back with a wrestling action figure. Like where'd you get that from? Oh, I got it from Manny. I was like, how much you pay? I was like, oh, nothing. He said he'll just talk to you about it later. <laughs> See, that was like shit on my tab, bro. I'm like, oh, yes. Where did you get that? I got it from Jay. Oh, guys. <laughs> it's I was like, stop <laughs> calling these people for stuff, man. <laughs> but he's like that. He, 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 but that's what I told him. Like, dude, it's like, I don't, me growing up, I don't know how y'all were raised, but like, mm. I, I think most people who have their own businesses, because they're raised to, 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 to know the value of a dollar, bro. Like, mm-hmm. the things given to you, especially. Yeah. Because I know the way I was raised. I was raised growing up. My parents weren't rich. My parents, yeah. they, my dad's from Mexico. He stopped sixth mm-hmm. grade. So I grew up watching him push his business. He went from leaving sixth grade to working in, in mattress warehouses to make a, make a living. Mm-hmm. And then from there, they went and got their insurance license. And, you know, 30 years later, I mean, my parents own their own insurance company. They own two offices. They own a horse, horse arena. They own like ten different properties in Saginaw. That they all run out and so I learned the mm-hmm. the, the, the value, of the hustle mentality. Yeah. It's like my dad always tells me, don't don't put your don't put your eggs in one basket. Yeah. you yeah. got to learn everything because you never know when you, yeah. you when something's gonna happen. And I was like, and that's what I've always done. Like when I first started working for this metal sign company, mm-hmm. out of high school, I worked for a, a meat packing company, and then I got I got I got tired of that job, and, and some bullshit happened. I ended up getting laid off. So then my dad was like, well, come move to Granbury and work for me until you find a better job. So I found the metal sign company on Craigslist working for seven fifty an hour, part-time. Worked there, and then from there I started doing the metal signs. And I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I'll probably make some money off of this. Yeah. I was like, so I looked into Photoshop and all that, and I started learning how to do the Photoshop and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then from there, I was like, you know what, I'm doing an iPad. And that's when Procreate was getting big and when it first started. So I started using Procreate. I just made one of designs, put on the metal signs, and started selling them. And from there, it went from there, and just started making more money off of that. And then I'd go and buy me like a high-end Canon camera and start taking photos at my dad's rodeos, and then selling those photos on little prints to the people oh, I took yeah. pictures of. So I'd make bank off of that. Like I've done a lot of stuff. Like when it comes to my designing and stuff, like yeah. all that self-taught Photoshop and all that. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to making everything, I just do a lot of research and, and learn to myself. I never. It's so I, that's why I teach my kids is like because growing up. Mm-hmm. If I wanted something, my dad was like, well, go clean a couple of horse stables because I ain't buying it for free. Mm-hmm. Like, go work for it. You got to work for it. Yeah. So if I wanted, like, my dad, every year will buy us a, a video game console, the mm-hmm. newest PlayStation, every Christmas, but no games for it. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, you want games? You want to go work for it. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah. So That's a good way as a kid, to do it. Right, even as little kids, I mean, yeah. we lived on a ranch. After my dad, we, we, his business started taking off, we moved to a ranch. And in that ranch, we're the only Mexicans there, like, for mm-hmm. from... Pre-K all the way to, to seventh grade I lived, we lived there, and we're the only Hispanics there. Mm-hmm. Little town, one gas station, volunteer fire department, volunteer no police. No one even knows of this place. It's like but coming to That's where we grew up. So me growing up, all we had was go feed the horses at 6 a.m. and mm-hmm. take it. I was like 14 years old, and like my dad was to make us wake up every morning, 5 a.m., yeah. get ready for school, go feed the horses before you leave, come home from school, feed the horses again. 
Like, oh, you want video games? All right, cool. Go clean four hair four stables and I'll buy you a video game. <laughs> so that's what I teach my kids. That's a, yeah. every day after work, my kids come home and Bella does all the packing. All the stacks we sell, Bella yeah. does all the packing. She packs it, bubble wraps it, good. puts it in a box, and then Rachel just throws it when she takes it to the post office. It's oh, a full family business now. And that's why Isaiah gets that hustle mentality because yeah. I tell him, because Isaiah has a PS5 and he got one when they first came out. I was yeah. like, but I told him, like, you want a game? Hey, Dad, I want this new Fortnite skin. I was like, well, we got to show this weekend. You sell some stuff and you can yeah. buy yeah. the Fortnite skin. Yeah. That's why he gets that hustle mentality. Go, go, I'm going to go sell this. Yeah. So mm-hmm. at the end of the show, he's like, Dad, how much money do I make? <laughs> and he won't do it till the very end. Yeah. Like, he'll sit there and play with his action figures and go while shopping around. And then, like, at the very end of the, like an hour before the pop swaps over the show, he'll be like, Dad, can I take this real quick and see if I can sell it? And he'll go and he'll make like 140 bucks like the last hour of the show, just himself, just from yeah. walking around. Mm-hmm. All that money goes to them. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're teaching them like that. Yeah. You have to, bro. Cause it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's... That opens so many doors for him later, too. Yeah. Because you won't have that, uh, in, you know, he'll be confident to do yeah, business, then, talk to people. And it, it took him yeah. a while. Like, Isaiah um, has ADHD. Mm-hmm. So, um, we give, we we don't like to give it to him on, on like the weekend. He gives him a to calm his nerves and yeah. just uh, and stuff. But. but when we're at shows, we like I give it to him because there's just so much going, going on. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it, it helps. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. just too much for him. So I give it to him, and it, it has helped. It, he's calm, and it, he's always going around. He yeah. doesn't, and now he's getting mature, more mature. That's another like that, that affected it was, it was the kids, man. My, my kids and I have an accident. They yeah. affected Isaiah and Bella a lot, yeah. too. Isaiah still puts around. Is that you going to get a robot like that? <laughs> <laughs> his, his, the first question was like, Will it grow back? He says, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I first got back to the hospital, he finally like asked me, he's like, Dad, is your leg going to grow back? It doesn't look like Because I know with lizards and stuff, it tells us, like, oh, is your leg going to grow back? No. You must have seen yeah. Deadpool. Yeah. You know yeah. Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. 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 He brought that up, too. He's like, is it going to grow back? I'm like, no, that's not how it works. Then. He's like, well, yeah. you need a robot leg? I'm like, no, maybe. <laughs> this one's expensive. They're pretty yeah. pricey. Yeah. So, but, you know, that's... Is that an like, option for you ever, like, later on? I could. I mean, I... My mom wanted me to get one as soon as I was out of the hospital. Yeah. Because like, like, like I said, my parents now they they you could say they're they're they well off. They got their own businesses. My dad like my my parents mm-hmm. wanted to they could retire right now and not have to worry about another thing the rest of their lives because they're, they're so set. Yeah. And that's where I get my mentality from my business. I always want to start my own shit because I mean, if I wanted to, I, I didn't want to grow up. I didn't want to be like one of those kids who relied on their parents and like like business wise, money wise. Like I wanted to have my own shit. Like I don't need oh you know they got that because your parents. So. Yeah. But uh, my mom was like, as soon as I got to the hospital, my mom was like, go get a prosthetic, I'll pay for it, you don't have to worry about the cost. I was like, nah, nah, nah. like I'm good. I was like, for what? I, was like, I, yeah. I, I can stick on my hands, stick on my mind. Yeah. I can still work. I don't yeah. need a prosthetic right now. But she wants me to. She was like, me home. Because my mom has a, she's had, in the past year, she's had three brain brain aneurysms. So she said, oh. like that. But she's like, me home before, I hate when she talks to me, she's like, before, I, you know, before I'm gone, I want to see you walk yeah. again. Because, yeah. like I said, before my accident, we're real family orientated. Mm-hmm. I yeah. tell my parents, hey, let's go have dinner, and we'll go. Yeah. And you know, I'll always be at my mom's house, or I'll always be at the rodeos helping them out. We'll all be together. And ever since my accident, it just I, I don't like to, like I said, it's, it's more of a I don't want to be a hassle having to make sure I'm able to get through there. Right. So she she gets upset. She gets mad when we joke around it too, because that's how I cope a lot. Me and my brothers, like my, my brother, we joke around so much. Like on we play, I play Call of Duty and stuff. Yeah. You know, my brother. My brother would call me Stumpy on 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "Hey, shut up, Stumpy!" You know, like, "Fuck you, asshole!" And, and, and we just joke around like yeah. that. My mom gets so mad. She like really? slaps the shit out of my brother every time he yeah. makes like a one-legged joke or something. But I always joke. I always make. I've heard you roast him a couple yeah, times. I always do. Yeah. The end of the day, I was joking around. So I was like, "Damn, it's been two years since since uh, the greatest hide hide and seek games ever been played." <laughs> Lost that leg two years ago. I still can't find it. <laughs> That's crazy. But, that's uh, the only way we that's go, only like joke around. We joke around. There's points where I joke around about yeah. it now. It's, it's, but I think it's good to find humor because it makes everybody else kind of comfortable too. Yeah. You don't really have to beat around the bush. Exactly. I wondered because it was like that at first. Like I right there, they didn't want to offend. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like I, st- I heard, started hearing her roast. Y'all was like, they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I'm, I'm very brutal. I'm very I heard harsh. it. Oh, like yesterday. <laughs> Bella went to go to some recital, right? Yeah. Bella was a day for you. Oh, and Rachel's like, Bella, break a leg, but not like your dad. Oh, <laughs> like, I'm going to tell dad. I'm like, it's okay. I'll tell him when I get back to him. And I told him, and then he was like, that's, that's fucked up. That was a good it's one. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, it's crazy. It's, yeah. been, it's been crazy the past couple of years, man. Like, it's, it's, 
Yeah. And there's been some bad too. Like I said, when it comes to the business of pop swaps and shows and stuff like that, when it comes to business wise, those are good and those are bad. Yeah. 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 Ups and downs. Yeah. But Uh, y'all made the best of it. Starting off from the first pop swaps, I had a bunch of Funko Pops. Like I used to sell Funko Pops like y'all and stuff. I remember that. I don't do it anymore because just I don't have I don't have the time for it. Yeah. And I'm not as I'm not as I can't I can't spot the the fakes. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. some of the instances I've had, like, yeah. especially recently. We've already been duped twice. Yeah, and the second time, and then that I just don't have time to, to price check, and I don't have time to make sure to keep it trans. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's, yeah, it is. That's why, that's, that's, that's why I hate doing Funko Pops. Like, man, I don't know how the hell they're all going to do it. I don't know how Jay does this. I don't know how to spend another with the Funko Pops. Um, I can't. I hate people doing People pull that. out their popcorn cards. They're like, oh, what's for this? I'm like, we'll just give us this much. I was like, the, one, the ones yeah. we have there are for sale from our own collections mm-hmm. that we've just or Isaiah, had. Or Isaiah, because wants to collect something new. But I don't really do Funko Pops anymore. Yeah. I switched totally, but like, I stopped it. Like, nope. You have what you have, and you're good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've gotten rid of a lot of my collection. I got so all kept his autographs now, and it's pretty Game much it. Thrones. Game of Thrones only. SLA. Iron Man stuff. Oh, yeah. his Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Man stuff I do get. I do, like, if I see something Iron Man based, I'll buy it. Like, mm, yeah. Cups, uh, anything Iron Man, I'll buy. Because I'm very horrible with Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, anything I see that. Fanatic. Cool. Hey, do you still have that custom? That, yes. Yeah, that one's cool. That one, that one's in my office. Oogie Boogie? Yeah. That you, you won for me? Yeah. Like, that's really it. cheap, too, right? Yeah. Like $65 yeah. or 60 bucks. That right one's now. so cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, really that was that pretty one. dope. Yeah, I got that one time ago. Like, that's hey. cool. That's yeah. Pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's in my office. Yeah. yeah. Next that's, to the other one. Well, that's when we first started. I said that we started, we started four years ago. Yeah. And at first we started with one, two Funko Pops, and then within like a month and a half, it went from having four, four, our first four Funko Pops, and after a month and a half, we had close to 13, 1,400 Pops. Uh-huh. And we didn't buy them, though, because we, we traded it, the metal signs for them. And yeah, I remember when I first met you was at a West Dallas Pop Swap. Yeah. Now, all I ever saw of you was a baby face like photo on Facebook, right? And then when I saw him in person, I was like, whoa, this guy's tall. <laughs> like, yes. a big old dude. Yeah. I, didn't expect, too. I, didn't, I didn't expect that. I was like, wow, he looks just like a, you know, a young man on his Facebook profile page. Yeah, I've had him change since high school. Yeah, he still had that baby face. Yeah, yeah. if I were to like to shave everything, and all that, yeah. Yeah. Back then in high school, I didn't, I didn't have a beard or anything. Yeah. And then I always had clean cut. I would get a haircut like every two days, three yeah. days. Yeah, we had fade. Yeah. But yeah, I remember uh, meeting you then. Uh, it was at a West Dallas Pop Shop, and you had a whole set of like, it's, I yeah, know, it's was over there off the of Singleton yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah, when you, yeah, I it was just a bunch of, it was just what, metal signs. That's how it was, metal signs and just, that's how we did, right? It was just metal signs. Metal but you were always trading. I remember yeah. you were always trading some we of that just, stuff. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. And by the way, Jaime was always the one that was like uh, keeping me updated with you. He's uh, always, yeah, he's always like, yeah, I'll talk to Edgar. And, um, you know, before the accident, whatever, and, and after, he's always been Hi, one of the best. one been one of the reals, man. Like, it's shout out West Dallas P. Yes, yes. Shout, he's, shout he's out. always there, bro. He is. No, Jaime. Yeah. Jaime has been a real good, good, good friend. Like, uh, even besides the pops, like I said, Jaime. Whenever I had my accident, Jaime was mm-hmm. like, "Do you need a PS5 while you're in the hospital or while you're mm-hmm. at home?" I was like, "I got you." The least day the day they came out, like he literally yeah. opened the line and got me one, sold to me retail. Yeah. Didn't even charge me anything extra for it, yeah. things like that. Not only that, he don't message me almost every other day. Hey, how you how's luck doing today? How's everyone doing? Mm-hmm. How's this doing? How's Bella doing? How's Rachel doing? How's how uh, Isaiah doing? And even even after I went back to work, like even now, yeah. Jaime still go. He'll hit me up during the week when he's not out of town, and yeah. he'll be like. Hey, bro, you need help at work because he knows that we're short staffed and it's oh, just he, me. That's right. I think so, I, I hit him up one day and he was like, Oh, I'm here at the shop working. I was like, It threw me off. And I was like, Yeah, bro, wait, wait. Like, he'll come. Yeah. Jaime will come to the shop and he'll literally go and help me split wood and, and, and just work there. Like, he like, needs <laughs> yeah, like, like, we use some stuff in the front. Because, like I said, like, our, our friends we do, we have to get the, we get old fence panels, we yeah. split them in half on the table saw, uh-huh. and then cut them to whatever size, and then put them together with the nail gun. Yeah. So before my accident, you know, I without a problem. But yeah. after my accident, like, I'm, I'm still having to do it. So mm-hmm. I have to get that piece of wood and push with one, with my foot and yeah. my hand mm-hmm. with one hand while I'm pushing the, the, the piece of wood with the other hand through yeah. the, the, the table yeah. saw. So it takes me a lot longer, and there's days that I fall behind, and, and Jaime will just say, hey, you need me help, I'll go help. And he'll just show up, and he'll work there for like three or four hours. Like, are you done? I'm like, yeah, all right. And he'll head out. It's 
Just, yeah, he, yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, always like I said, he's never asked for anything like that. Just, you know, every once in a while, he'll be like, hey, can you make me this or can you make me that? And he'll ask me how much. You still want me to charge him? Like, nah, yeah. I mean, don't yeah. worry about it, bro. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's, we, yeah, he's done That's how it was me. Like, looking out for each other. I mean, y'all, yeah. y'all, know, y'all know me for, for the whole time we've been in this, in this yeah. Funko Pop stuff. I've never... If, if you're going to ask for help, I'm, I'm always one person that'll be like, hey, I'm down. And then I'll, I won't ever try to upcharge you or anything. I'll give you the best deal I could give you. Yeah. Where, you know, it'll, I'm not charging you on the leg. Yeah. Absolutely. Because we only got three. that one time, they charged me a leg. We only got three to go. Yeah. I was like, a... there was a shot right now. <laughs> 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 like, I caught it. I cast the jokes easily. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 even now, dude, like, it's, it's, even after my accident, yeah. I still help, anybody needs help with anything, oh, I'm always down. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not ever, you know, people who are jealous mm-hmm. of other people's businesses and stuff. Yeah. And I'm not like that. Like, I did a, I, I, like, one of the other dudes in another group, mm-hmm. he does custom graving, and yeah. he even hit me up, like, there's a right way and a, and a good way of doing something. Yeah. Like, like that first guy that did the engagement yeah. we were talking about earlier. Yeah. He did it the wrong. I was shady as fuck. Yeah. yeah. This other dude named, his name's Leon, and he's pretty cool. He literally hit me up personally. Like, dude, I was like, I love your work. You're the one that inspired me to start doing these. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm doing these only because of you. Yeah. And I was like, I, and, and he's like, but I, there's one thing I can't figure out. I can't figure out how to do this, this, this. Mm-hmm. And I literally told him, like, dude, this is how you do it. This is how I do it. I showed him. I showed him. I gave him pointers and stuff, and and now he's doing. You know, he's doing better yeah. in his in his business. Yeah. And then there's other dude, who will literally run his mouth, bro. Like he'll literally put a picture of my stack and then his stack, and he's like, oh, that's you know, crazy. Come to us and do this because this stack looks shitty, or this stuff, this stack looks like this, and compare his work yes. to mine. Yeah. He's like, it looks burnt. Or yeah, and I'm like, bro. Oh. I was like, not every picture will engrave the same. Yeah. yeah. I was like, comes- but you know what? I do whatever the customer wants. If the yeah. customer wants like that, that's the way it's gonna go. And- yeah, so, I bite my tongue a lot, but it just yeah. get to me because I'm like, dude, you're trying to take money from my kids, not yeah. my kids. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I hate dealing with people like that, bro. It's, it's, uh, it's, there's yeah. no room in anything for any action. You know, like that behavior. Yeah. Like yeah. That's just awesome. such a crappy way to do business. Yeah. Try to get people try to get business. Yeah. You know, the thing like, you know, as fans or just consumers in general, they know when somebody's trying to do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, He's he, only he, 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 does, he yeah. does it all the time. I'll get screenshots. Yeah. People will PM me all the time on Instagram and on Facebook, hey, look what this dude said about your stat. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't care. And and just, let it go. Yeah. It's, it's not just one person to us. It's always, there's some, like that guy that he was talking about earlier. He's like, oh, yeah, I've had issues with him too. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, and this one dude, he's just like, bro. It's like, if you have to compare, if you have to compare your work to other people's work just to try to get a sale and, and shoot people down, then. Exactly. Yeah. Like I had, I had one friend speaking, you know, same exact thing. He was like, he hit me up. Like, we were just talking one day. And then he was like, yeah, man. He goes, there is some, he didn't say her name. He's like, there's some lady hating on you because uh, you're in a wheelchair. And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, she thinks you guys get, you know, because she sells pops too or whatever. And then she thinks you're using your, you know, disability as a way to get sales, you oh, know, so for sales. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, like, pops sell themselves. You either have it or you don't. Yeah. And if people aren't buying from you, that just goes, that's more on you as a yeah. person may, not being welcoming or just not making yeah. people want to buy from you. Because if I see a pop and I want it, why am I going to be petty and be like, oh, because it's that person? Yeah, that's just such a shitty thing to say, though. Yeah. Someone, or whoever right. that was. I don't right. know who it was. But, but it doesn't bug just, me yeah. because I'm pretty sure some people do think that. And But I've never based my brand. I guess I, it's not based around being in a wheelchair, but I, don't want, I won't ignore it. But I'm not going to act like I'm not in a wheelchair. Yeah. But, you know, it's he actually came up with Spinner's name. And it was more of like a joke. I was wondering that, how that came up. How did Spinner's... We, we had a group chat. And I said something in the chat. And then he was just like, pinch of Spinner's. Like that. <laughs> and then, because they were trying to come up with a nickname. I didn't have a nickname at the time. Oh, and back then, like, messages people give each other nicknames? Yeah. yeah. And he was like, oh, pinch of Spinner's. And that stuck. Like, that was it. Because we had got said Hot Wheels. I'm like, eh, No. I was called that in high school, and then that happened, and that's really where it came from. And then Jaime put him on this huge mega platform after oh, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> spin it, spin it, spin it. Yeah. So over there in West Dallas, and then, yeah, and that's How where it's Crispy come up? Spinners. Crispy was actually, we talked about we this We just talked time. about this the other yeah, day, too. Yeah, Rigo. Rigo uh, so I knew Rigo. He was one of the original dozen uh, that here in DFW did was in the Funko like, collecting world. Um... Shout out to Rigo. (laughs) 
And yes, um, you know, we, we we I met him through the church pot swaps way back when. Mm -hmm. And I can name you like the people that were there. There's literally maybe about a dozen and um, that are still doing it today. Rigo was one of the first ones. Me and him actually bonded. Rigo, Rigo, go from uh, fanboys. Fan yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, tax pros. Shout out tax, tax, shout out tax pros. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> no, but Rigo, uh, he was one of the original ones, and we bonded over uh, wrestling, WWE, right? Because okay. he was a big wrestling fan. I've always been obsessed with wrestling, and the Funko Pops were like, at the time. Are you, know, you, so going, are you going Monday? No. You're I'm not, not going Monday? Wait, I would like to. But what about you? Yeah, y'all are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going. Yeah. Isaiah, I know, is a big fan. Yeah. Shout that out, my, Isaiah. <laughs> That was my birthday present. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Shoot, that is... Heck yeah, that's yeah. a great birthday present. Like, every year we do a concert or something for my birthday, and then this year around, I was like, there's nothing coming around that I would want. There was, but the tickets are like $650 Ooh. each. And but this I was is like, like a... Oh, that Blink-182 concert or what? No, Chris Stapleton. Oh, oh. Yeah. how much was that? Six-something? Yeah. Because yeah. the wheelchair, yeah. Yeah. The wheelchair yeah. accessible. Yeah. That's what I think when the concert people yeah. buy the wheelchair one, they yeah. resell them to fucking for dude. I hate that's, that. That's 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 dirty, bro. Yeah, that's, that's super is. dirty. Is that at the Cowboys Stadium? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I, was looking right. I, I don't know. Yeah. No. Not sure. Well, that is the worst stadium for handicapped people. Is it? Yeah. It's the Tell shittiest. Which one are we going to? Um, okay. Do you want to? No, we haven't gone to the stadium. Not since C or accident. I don't no, think so. Yeah, yeah. bro. I'm telling you, it's bad. That Just prepare. Yeah, the only time we've ever gone to is. I went to Dickies 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 yeah. And then the other one uh, in AAC. Dallas. American Airlines. Yeah. 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 That was their accommodating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. no. Uh, uh, what's it called? Cowboys Stadium, at t Bro, they, they literally don't know shit. They don't know what's going on. Like, handicap. Unless you're, like, on the level that you walk in, that's the only time you'll be like, okay, you. it's a little easy. But if you're on the floor or anywhere else, no, nah, it's, it's a nightmare. I can imagine because yeah. it's it is a it's very steep place in yeah. general, like because it's yeah. built into the ground. Yeah, the yeah. The well, it's like so it's... you know we went we got to the floor, and we had floor seats for Bad Bunny, me and Sam, and you went to the Bad Bunny concert. Yeah, damn, we were we, oh, oh, we were up there. <laughs> <laughs> Same probably. <laughs> what the price? Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, no floor seats for two tickets was like seven hundred. Oh, it's not. Yeah. You got them like when they came out. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. You know, you didn't get them from scalpers then. I don't know. No, I, would, I would never have gotten them from scalpers. Yeah. I don't like them that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them that much. That's why I was mad. I was, I was mad that day that, that I didn't go to the J. Cole concert. Because my seats were right next to you. I didn't even, we didn't even plan that. Oh, man. That, <laughs> that shit was lit. That's one thing I regret so much, bro. Like, I bought those tickets to... Mm -hmm. to I bought him handicap and pre sale. Yeah. I, I didn't even know they were next. I didn't even know he was going. Yeah. He was posting about him. But yeah, my seats are here. He's like, bro, one in the same row. Yeah. We're right next to each other. We had like one person between. We were going to kick him out and yeah. then have a whole row just all of us. It was me, Rick, sick. Zach, Tino. Yeah. Yeah. And it would have uh, been I them. Saw, I saw my ticket, so. Uh, <laughs> last minute, I don't remember why I couldn't go, but. We originally, it was supposed to be me and my brother going because she won't listen to rap. Yeah. Actually, oh, okay. She'll listen if it's on the radio, but she liked us actually listen to I'm, I'm very particular with rap. See, I listen to. Yeah. Old school stuff. Like, yeah. don't put in that new shit. This, this new no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I, but yeah. I do like J. Yeah, Cole. Yeah, I do like J. Cole. Music like that is like yeah. more it's like it's artists it's to me. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. I, 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 we've had that conversation. We've had that conversation. Like, yeah. I hate most rappers. Like, yeah. New ones. Like, but, but the like, artists? Like, yeah. The baby or little. Yeah, I can't what? stand that. You like the baby? No. I like some of the baby's music. Some of the baby's music is catchy. Only because it's catchy. Not because of lyrically. Yeah. It's catchy. Like, the beats is like. It goes pretty hard. I like Lil Baby. I don't like the baby anymore, but I like Lil Baby. He's hard. I don't like any of Are they people. related or? No. No. I don't even yeah. know if they were. Right? No. no, yeah. And then, like, all these people, the new rappers that are dying, I'm like, who was this person? And the guy's like, oh, the, they had all right music. I'm like, mm, okay, well, like. Yeah. I do I like the old school you. stuff, though. Yeah. yeah. No, of oh, course. yeah. I can listen to that all day long. Yeah. Like, my yeah. kid's grown up on that. Bella knows every song. And she's Did you see that, that, that thing canceled? That, that concert? The Which one? The uh, before we were young, or when we were young, or something. Oh, like yeah. yeah it got happened? canceled? What yeah. happened? An hour, no, an hour before, before the doors were going to open, they canceled the festival. What happened, though? Like They just canceled. Uh, something about the, the, the weather, or the winds were too strong, or something like that. That's oh, bullshit. Or maybe nah. Uh, something else is going on people there. Were, people were, like, commenting. Like, I was watching the No Jumper, and he was, he was, he was, oh, yeah. he was saying that, that literally it's like the next, it was literally the same thing as the fire festival. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, yeah. But I guess now it's, everything's such a liability that yeah. in mm -hmm. previous concerts in the past four or five years, there's been some 
scares were some very well, yeah. tragic. Well, the whole thing, the whole thing with uh, Astral Travis Scott. Right? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. That was bad. So now they take that a little bit more. I didn't even know there was like a whole like different like board that covers that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even realize that until after the Travis Scott stuff. I was like, wow. Uh, you want to go back and how you got your name, Crispy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that was that. I was, that, I that was getting sidetracked. No, that, that was great. Good I, convo. I know. <laughs> but no, Rigo, so WWE, we bonded over that. Yeah. And this is actually a two party thing because at the time, <clears throat> it was funny because Rigo would always sell me pops. He'd get all the new chases, and I'd be like, oh, you know, you got that chase. I'll buy it for me right now. That way you don't have to list it online or locally. You know, you got to pay fees. And he'd be like, oh, that boy Crispy. And he would always be like, this boy's Crispy. This boy's Crispy on his boxes. And so um, I'd always be like, hey, is that boy hear. Crispy? <laughs> right? Yeah. And I was like, it just, it was catchy. Rigo would say it and I would be like, every time he tried to sell me something or if he had pops for sale, I said, was well, that boy Crispy? <laughs> and then so Jaime from West Dallas, this is the second part of it. Hyman from West Dallas would always hear me saying that. So he started calling me Crispy. And that's where it got. It, it was just, that's where it came mm-hmm. from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was Rigo saying it. And then me repeating Rigo, because I was always getting pops from at every pop swap. And then Jaime just calling me that. So mm-hmm. that's how that started. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jaime we don't have a nickname for that. this one yet. Yeah. But everyone calls me Rafa, and that was just an accident. Yes. Yeah. Hyman doesn't know how to read his own writing, <laughs> and like he was saying something. Hyman a nickname is literally it sticks to everybody. Yeah, yeah, and he was like saying my name too fast, and he called me Rafa, and or Rafael, or Rafa, or something like that. And since then, it just stuck. Everyone called yeah, me. Yeah, I was, I was always wondering. I thought that was like something that was already. Yeah, me too. No, I no, just couldn't read it on the ticket correctly. Yeah, he just couldn't read his own writing. I feel like Hyman's here right now. We keep talking about Hyman. It keeps coming back to Hyman. Yeah, his ears are yeah. probably ringing and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're all burning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but this one, I just call him. I just tell him, like, back it up, Terry. Come on, man. You're in the way. Hey, <laughs> show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Terry for Halloween. Oh, dude, that would. Oh, my God. I don't know. I'd probably lose it on that one. <laughs> yeah. Make it up, Terry. I was telling my dad, Craig, you in the way, man. No, but uh, <laughs> shoot, uh, who's the one of my friends at work? They yeah. they always fuck with me. Like they would they could, before, before we had to let go of everybody because everything everything slowed down. Yeah. He would stick like pieces of the, the wood and stuff. He's sticking my wheels. And stuff. Oh, they were yeah. getting locked. Yeah, yeah he put the something. hammer behind my wheels. So I can go backwards. Yeah. Put some of the wheels. It's all messed up. But, can you reach the back? Can you reach back there? Would, like at all? Oh yeah. yeah. See, I can't go that far back. <laughs> that short arms. Yeah. <laughs> He'll always tell me, hey, can you get something out of my back? I was like, what, what back? I was Actually, like, my backpack. I have a backpack back here, and one day I was with Chad, and I put it on, and then I couldn't get it off. I was like, I was like stuck. I was like, and then I'm like, bro, I need help. He's like, what'd you do? And then he started busting out laughing. I'm like, help me. He's like, I got you. He just lifts it. And I'm like, I get it. Yeah. You have to. You yeah. gotta find the good, there, the bright in it. And that was harsh. I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, <laughs> we, like, we like this all the time, and you know, we always clown on each other. You know. Yeah. You, you just, there's no other way to get through. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, more thing I wanted to talk to you about. I saw a story you posted on your IG earlier this week or last week. Anime. You might have to start uh, watching some anime. I need to. What what's the hate with the anime? Because you make some bread off that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is our money. But let's just be like, I'll, I'll jump around people. I'm like, like every post just... I see, like I always give a uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Prince. What's his name? Who? Rodriguez. Yeah. Uh, oh, Frank Rod. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, every time he posts something, it started with him because he had posted something asking me if I had had this pop, and I was like, no, I don't care anime. It's trash. <laughs> But cause I don't really collect anime. I've never watched anime a day yeah. in my life. I think when I was a kid, I think I maybe watched a couple episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Like the original Dragon Ball Z. Mm-hmm. But after that, I, I didn't really, I never really got into it. Which is crazy because like, growing up, I was into Pokemon. Like, yeah. When I, when I lived out in the country mm-hmm. and I was the only Hispanic there, yeah. I grew up with, with, I had friends who were really into Pokemon and, and, uh, What's it called? Digimon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Digimon, the Pokemon, then Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I was deep in that, bro. I had all those yeah. Pokemon cards and everything. Like I, I, I spent probably my dad probably spent hundreds of Pokemon, money on Pokemon cards every time. I literally cleaned horse stables to buy more Pokemon cards. But 
that I was really into. And it wasn't until I, I, we moved back to Fort Worth that, because you got to think about it, from my pre-K to sixth grade, mm-hmm. I just lived in a ranch. It was mm-hmm. school, then the ranch, cleaning up horse shit and feeding horses. And then during the school, I would hang out with my friends who were literally, back then it wasn't cool to be into anime. Yeah. So it was, you're yeah, a nerd. You beat up. Yeah. 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 But back then I was only Mexican, so it, I, no one was yeah. picking on you, but it, we, yeah. were all, we were all into Pokemon cards and stuff. Yeah. But once middle school came and we moved back to Fort Worth, like, a good time in, in the country for us was my dad coming home with, with Pizza Hut and some movies from Blockbuster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a badass weekend for us. That's mm-hmm. it. I've never gone to house parties. The only party we ever get to was Quinceañeras for family. Yeah. But other than that, there's it, no mall. There's, there's no There's literally nothing. nothing. There's the, just the, one the, gas station. The closest oh. Walmart was 45 minutes away. Damn. Yeah. The closest movie theater was 45 minutes away. Yeah. So the weekends was just at home. So when we moved to, to, to Fort Worth and I started, I you know, went to middle school, eighth grade, and then freshman. I started going to, to to more house parties. I started going to the mall a lot. So then I started I started breaking away from the horses, you know, the horses and stuff. And I wouldn't be I got out of the whole Pokemon and all that. Yeah. From there, I went to parties, drinking, and then shoes. Back it then, was, I was really into shoes and when stuff. When I, I met Edgar, school. Edgar was a cadet. Oh damn, yeah. bro! I yeah, love uh, to see some videos there. Bro, yeah. back yeah. then I had a tape affair with the spiky hair, oh, oh. The piercing right here, yeah. he the was, tall tees back in the days. And then with a fresh pair of Jordans, every color way, everything, bro. Like famous I, star, that's why the famous star, the famous star, the famous stars and stripes. Yeah, I that brand. Everyone called him bro. famous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. back then I, I popped yeah. and all that, bro. Like I was a cadet with the with the, the famous creations. Yeah, because my my cousin was the owner of that he's the one that yeah. ran all those cadets. Yeah. So I, I got into cadets back in high school. So I, I wasn't. I was always with the, the yeah. popular crowd, going out partying and stuff. Yeah. So I never. I shied away from the whole anime and, and yeah. Yeah. stuff like that. And it wasn't until Funko Pops that I got back into like collecting <laughs> and stuff. Mm-hmm. But back in high school I didn't like this. I never watched anime. Yeah. So but now like I had I, I need now I know more of anime but that's only because I had to know the characters. Yeah. He was for like, sure. Oh I wanna because back when we first started, oh I wanna they would say some type of Naruto character yeah. and I'm like, what the fuck's Naruto? Like <laughs> what the, I would have to Google it. Yeah. And that's why I had to and now it's gotten to the point to where we've made so many cases that people are like, Oh, I want the case for this and I'll know exactly who they're talking right. about because like, but I've never watched an episode in my life. That's so crazy. Yeah, and but the only time I watch an episode yeah. that one. The only time I watch an episode is if they tell me, hey, I want this scene exactly when it's kind of like this on, on this episode mm-hmm. when he does this. So now I'll have to go and watch look it. up that episode, yeah. that particular part, and then that way I can incorporate it in the design. But, yeah, watch that. I need to, though, because yeah. I, make, I make, literally, I said, 75% of our cases are, are anime. Yeah, I'm, all the time you're pumping out. Anime, hype, anime. And anime and, and Pokemon and everything, it's the hype right now. That's all. It's, mm-hmm. it's, not really much Pokemon too much. Oh, yeah. The, not the cards. Not as bad as it was. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be, like, when your son pulled out that Charizard, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, that was like the highlight of I think that was that your fault wasn't it his fault it was at his yeah. fault yeah. yeah. it, 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 it was at your first fault <laughs> in your backyard oh, shit. the first one you ever did he pulls out that I was just like that. Oh, oh yeah it was he put it in the corner by yeah, the tree yeah, yeah the everybody was like Hi. I was like what the heck is going on because I was like yeah I know it's good I was like I told Randy he's like how much is this he's like I think it's like 70 bucks for the box yeah. for the booster and I was like oh. I was like what if I don't pull anything good and I was like well I'll have to chance to look like fuck it like, I was going to pick I was going to pick open it up and yeah. pull the Charizard and back then it was worth like 500, 600 bucks Oh yeah, it was. Did you ever sell it or did you keep it? We, we still got it. it. We still have it. Still keep it. it. Now yeah. it's like a hundred bucks or... Yeah, it's a hype. You know how things yeah. go. Yeah. They go up, they die down. But yeah, I need to, man. Like, uh, I need to watch anime because... I know the character names, but if they tell me certain parts of it... Uh, like, Same. No it's like with Star Wars. I've never seen a Star never, Wars movie. I think I've I watched one that. Star Wars yeah. movie. Like, Jesus, I love thing. Oh, he's yeah. He's a good heart, like... Oh, oh. Uh, all the cases that he's ordered off, off yeah. of me or bought off of me... Or I made for him. Are either Star Wars or Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. He's the, he's the one that got me into Game of Thrones. Oh really? Yeah. When yeah. I first started collecting, I was taking anything and anything in. But it wasn't until I started cutting down the collection, and then he was like, he's like, oh, you should try watching. Uh, he had he had this one Marvel pop, mm-hmm. and and but he was selling it as a bundle on the Facebook Facebook Marketplace. Uh-huh. And it was like, I got these pops for sale, and I was like, oh, well, I only want that Marvel one. No, I'm selling it as a bundle. And there's a bunch of Game of Thrones ones. And I told him, well, I'll make some metal signs if you want to do some trades. And Jesus was like, oh, yeah, I can use this as a Christmas present because they're on Christmas time. Yeah. So they like, all right, I'll do the trade. And that's how me and Jesus met. And, and wow. ever since then, bro, me and Jesus have been tight. Like, yeah, he's yeah, told me they are really, yeah, really Yeah, me close. and Jesus are tight as fuck. Like, yeah. anything, 
anything he's asked for, I'll help him out if he needs anything, or I mean, we've done trades and stuff like that. And yeah. he's, he's, badass. He's, he's, he's a great guy. guy. Oh, he's on yeah. the on he's my so admin different. team. And we call him our Lord and Savior. Yeah. <laughs> that and Bro, like, I, I call him I, my Lord. I'll be like, hey, my Lord. <laughs> he hit me up the other day because the first time I did a whatnot, I did a whatnot live, and my fucking iPad overheats and turns off. And right in the middle of, a, like, literally 20, 30 minutes into the whatnot live, the thing crashes. And he's uh, just watching. I was like, what happened? I'm like, my shit overheated. It wasn't your iPad. It was your phone. Because he's a smart cookie and he had it running while it was charging. I had it charging while oh, I was yeah. running the live and whatnot. Yeah. So they overheated and oh, kill it. crashed. Oh, it happened to us. It happened to us. Did we it? were recording our second podcast with Rouse. We had a whole front camera angle that's gone because it was actually gone within, like, five minutes. Because <laughs> we, we had that's, photos. We got this USB adapter. Can we put it ours in the freezer to cool down? Yeah. Wow, we really? Yeah. We should have done that. Yeah. We had it on adapter. And all three mics were running through the one phone, and it was recording video. Ah, so Shit, a minute in. Overload, yeah. yeah, overload. And we grabbed it, and it was hot for how long? Like yeah, 30, was, 40 minutes. It was hot. It was hot. Yeah, that's what I was like, man, if you want, I can show you how to set this, this stuff up with the camera. And, and I'm like, yeah, he's just smart with that stuff. With the oh, yeah, and super stuff. tech. Now I can set this up for you, bro. Just let me know when you want to come over, and I'll show you how to set it up, and we'll do different angles, different cameras, yeah. and stuff. I'm like, yeah. yeah, this is when we do the claim sales. He's there. He actually, we were. I was using his ring light for a while, mm-hmm. and he would just leave it at the house. Like, oh, you can, because we're going to need it next month. Yeah. And then finally, I just like, bro, how much? So he just yeah. sold it to me. Yeah. Give me a good deal for it. So now it's mine. Now we, whenever we need, we own it now. It's ours now. Like I have the headless net. I have all the. I'm only missing one, which yeah. is Scar Tyrion. Yeah, he got me the headless net. I'm missing that man. one, and I'm missing one other, the the Daenerys with the the arrow dragon. With with Drogo and dragon? No, she, well, she has the dragon in her hand, and it's a different color. It's oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. missing that. Okay. And, and the Scar Tyrion. Yeah. That's the only I one had, I'm missing. I had Scar Tyrion for a while. Oh, no. Hit up. I don't know if he still has it, if he sold it or traded it, but I s- traded it to Gusso. So hit up Gusso. Gustavo? Uh, no, uh, well, Gustavo, yeah. But Gusso Briseño? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think he collects some. I think he collects, I think he's keeping his personal collection. Yeah. I don't know, because I, I traded it to him for uh, some pops. He might still have it. I don't know if he's going to keep it or not. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's what I mean, because all, all mine I get from Jesus. Like, when I first met Jesus, he had doubles of everything. Of all the Game of Thrones. So that I mean, boy, got all of them. crazy. And even she, now, he's him like... And Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie has like six freaking headless Neds. I think like, she still is. Yeah, I know yeah. she does. I'm she's like, like, finally doesn't want to go through the quinceanera thing that he was telling me about. I was like, damn shit. I told her... Uh, I mean, Jesus is like, I'm trying to buy uh, all the MHA from Chad. And Jesus is like, well, let me get the triples and doubles first. I'm like, what do you need them for? Bro, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, that one pot, the, uh, the Unsullied, he yeah. has like... 15, 20 of them. He's like trying to make a little army of them. I'm like, damn. He reminds me of Mad Funko Pops, uh, Daniel, with like all his Groots. Oh, all yeah, the 10-inch Groots. Shit, I may have had a bunch of the big ones. Oh, the 10-inch Yeah. 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 He yeah. snatched three of them off of me. At one point, I had three of them, and he got all of them off me. I <laughs> had like triples of every grail he has. Oh, uh, he really does. Even yeah. like some of the bigger horror ones. Mm-hmm. Dude, he's got Every bear in the boy has a Funko, yeah. Funko store in his damn garage. Yeah. No, he has a storage stuff. closet. Uh, he has a storage, storage thing, too. Yeah. I mean, he can't. You know, Jaime is one of those guys that even if he sold all his pops at 50%, he'd make a kill. Because he got oh, yeah. it, you know, when they were a fair price. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they've gone up so much. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. But I bet. It's, it's, but yeah, I need to watch anime. Although I think I've decided to watch. I had more people refer me to Demon Slayer first. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a good so start. start. I think it's a good start. First. Right away, it's like, oh, I want to watch God. Demons. I need to watch Demon Slayer. And then, because the most sought after cases is Demon Slayer cases, Naruto, and Attack on Titan. Yep. Nice. Those are the main. Oh, and One Piece. We do a lot of One Piece. I feel like you're going to get hit with a lot of bleach within the next six months. It's like two, six, two Dude, three episodes. Dude, we do a lot of bleach. Yeah. yeah. That's the. the That's going to be the new. It's going to hit. What's the grill from bleach? Um, bleach. Hollow Ichigo. Yeah, we do a plenty of those. Like the- we do yeah, I was gonna say I've seen you. Yeah, yeah I've seen you. That's, that's, that's the one. That's, what is this one from? Demon Slayer. Yeah. This is Inosuke, right? Inosuke. Inosuke. Yeah. Say Inosuke. Hey, you should have heard Sean yeah. say it the first year. <laughs> Inosuke. <laughs> I know Suki. Like he See, said it all kinds of ways. How do you say the girl's name? Um, Nezuko. Nezuka or Nezuka. Well, my mom used to say Naratu. I've heard y'all say it. I don't know how to say that, but like that. I always say the other one wrong. What is it? Brook? Brock? Why is it Brock? I don't know. 
Oh, know. for Brooke? For one piece? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Brock. It's spelled Brooke. Which is Brooke, <laughs> Lister. She calls that one Brock. Yeah. And then which is the other one? The other one you said the name? Uh, Tanjiro. Tanjiro. No, I know this. I said that one. I hear Luffy a lot. Luffy. Luffy, Luffy, yeah, it's Luffy. Luffy? It's Luffy, Luffy? yeah. Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's spelled Luffy. Yeah, it's Luffy. Uh, the other one, she was having a hard time. The one that just got ordered on Etsy yesterday. The Ro- 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 Zoa or... Ro- Rowan, Rowan, Noah. Oh, Zo- Zoro? Or, yeah, from one I don't know how to say it's cool now. I just know it's Zoro. Ronaldo or Zoro? Yeah, I've never considered it. I haven't got that far in One Piece yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's that, that was, that was, was it, what'd you say? It was on the Etsy that got ordered. Yeah, it was the that one. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like, I, I know almost every Demon Slayer character, but now they're coming out with more anime lines mm-hmm. and stuff. People will be like, oh, I want this. And I'm like, I don't know what that is, but I'll, I'll Google it. Yeah. And I was like, just let me know what you want to have. And I was like, look it up. <laughs> I'll always give people a hard time saying it's trash. Like, every post I see. I know, I'll be, I'll be so angry. I'll be like, you make all this money and saying it's trash. <laughs> yeah, that's what tell me. comes out from, and I'm like, yeah, a lot of anime. A lot. I mean, it's just a, it's just a hot right now. It's the trend. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's popular. So, you got anything else? I'm yeah. good. What do you got? Okay, we'll go ahead. I guess we can go ahead. We'll definitely need a part two, I feel like. Yeah. There's like, just so much we can talk about. Right, like, and, you know, so we'll definitely have to get that soon. Mm-hmm. But we do appreciate y'all coming. I feel like we covered a lot. Thanks for, like, opening it up and just giving us insight of, like, you know, yeah. things that people just don't see. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 To me, I'm moving. Like, nobody asked me anything about I mean. I think there's a day. certain etiquette in general that people just feel like they can't ask or, you know, it's right. you know, whatever taboo. But, I mean, you guys willingly just discussing, you know, your experience and uh, th- not only just that, just the, the business side of what you're going through and, you know, establishing right now as a company. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah. it's, it's, we, I don't like to showboat about it. Like, yeah. people are asking, like, oh, you got time to do this? I do, I got so many orders from this company, this company, but, like, I won't, I won't openly be posting it. Yeah. on pages or right. like downplay mm-hmm. other people's work or yeah. it's like dude it's not yeah. my business I don't like I see I let my work talk to myself yeah. you will hardly ever see me you know advertise my shit yeah. like I, only when I do like limited jobs like this I'll mm-hmm. advertise it but other than that I don't really advertise it I don't need, for it. I don't need to go and post behind someone else's post about yeah, yeah. That's, that's like for our doing. wedding he did so much stuff for our wedding and I don't think we posted any of them because it's just yeah, I was, I was, I like creating shit. Like, like you yeah. know, like with you, I always hit yeah. you up every once. Like, Jay, do you yeah. need some merch, bro? Yeah. I feel like this. Yeah. Let's do something. I can do this, this, and this, and this now. Yeah, like for our wedding, we went out of the box. Like, you know, people do the guest books. You know, we. Yeah. Um, he had. I made. He made. Like, I was looking through all this stuff, and I was like, okay, I want this. Can you make me this? So he made me this box. Rachel gets mad. She gets so mad whenever I get so creative. She's like, you don't ever make me this. You don't make me this. <laughs> Like, uh, she'll, make, she'll make a, oh, like those cups. Like, I told you I bought yeah. all those cups. I bought a yeah. bunch of ones that are teal and baby yeah. blue. Yeah. And she's like, babe, can I have it? Like, no. Are you going to pay for it? <laughs> like, give me 20 bucks and it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I was like, I don't know. I'm going to about these to make money. I have to just use them. Yeah. Well, let me talk about my, my let, let me talk back, back to our wedding, okay? So, like, the guest book that we have, it was really cool. He made this big thing that you could slide the hearts in. So, mm-hmm. you sign up on, on a heart. And you slide it in the box. And what he did was, he designed it all with the song of, of our, fir- our first dance, like as a married mm-hmm. couple and stuff, which is really cute. And then he did for our backdrop, he did this really cool like um, backdrop thing that lights up and it says like E and R wedding. Really yeah. Cute. Oh, I like that. It's really cute and it's in my in my room right now. And so like everyone signed the little hearts and that just there's just drops in this little slot instead of like. You're such a romantic. Yeah, he, very is. he really is. He really is. Okay, Nobody he does that. that. Nah, no, I do that at work. Like at work, I'll play. I'll play our song when we first met yeah. 15 years ago, which was with the Chris Brown with you. Oh yeah. I'll play that, but then right after that, I'll put the big song. I don't fuck with. You. <laughs> <laughs> he, okay, Edgar is like this biggest teddy bear ever. Like. No. He is the girl in the relationship. <laughs> no, You've been playing your wedding since you were five. Oh, <laughs> no, man. he really is romantic, okay? Yeah. Like, for our anniversary, 
one day, like one time, he literally filled up my office with balloons. And then, like, he made, he didn't have a vase, so he made this little vase out of this, like, uh, what was it? Uh, some kind of laundry, not laundry, but like uh, something to clean the floors or something like that. And he put flowers in there, and then he got someone to go get him a build a bear with that song with you. So when you press it, it sings the song uh, and stuff like that. Do the trash How does it do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. He's, I don't do that as much anymore. Yeah, because he's just 15 years long. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he says that right now. He's gonna sing her the hey, song. Yeah. Yeah. Other way home. You know I love it. Yeah, he does all the time. And, you know. Yeah. Mm. How does that song go? Start off. Hey, little mama. <laughs> Someone like that. You yeah, right. It does, doesn't yeah. it? He knows it. He don't want to say it. He knows. Nah, but uh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, he's super romantic, but, yeah. We gotta. We need. We need to start talking some merch. Some. You under spotlight merch, guys. Yeah, yeah, for we sure. We do need to get it going. Actually, we have a lot to talk to him about because yeah. before the podcast, we, you know, we, we had some behind, discussions. Yeah, yeah, we had some stuff to talk about. So, so yeah. But yes, once again, thank you so much. Thank you so and, much. Yeah. You know, it's our pleasure. Been, keep going. Everything you're doing is crazy. It's so far. Oh, man, I, like, I make up stuff, but it's always it's always the community. Like, yeah. I, I, Customers like we wouldn't uh, be my business would not be without the, the West Dallas, the mm-hmm. Crazy Logo Toys, your group, your rock. And you the know, customers. If it wasn't for those three groups, your group, Spanish group, and, and West mm-hmm. Dallas, I don't think my shit would have blew up. Because it was support from that. It's support from the local groups that that blew my shit up. Yeah. Especially we, when we went down, you know, you guys were always yeah. there for us. Yeah, that's right. When so many winners on this podcast, I was like, hell yeah, I'll do it. Like, it's, it's it's like, I got it. We got to have him. Know. He's like, oh, yeah. I, I signed up for. They're going to be famous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, where's my dollar? I want to pull this a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, I don't have I'm him. I want one, and I want you to sign it so I can frame it. Yeah. Say less. Yeah. I'll yeah. bring yeah. it. You're going to go famous. You're going to go famous. I want to have it. I'm like, dude, I got this on my wall. <laughs> I'll take it to you. Are you going to? Anything for Selena. Anything for spinners. He's turning red. <laughs> I'm not. Red. I know. That's just his natural color. I'm yeah. Excited. Yeah. I'm excited here because y'all, y'all gave y'all gave Angel one. And I was like, dude, I, I want one. Yeah. And I want them to sign it so I, I can frame it. We're supposed to pass them out at Swap Palooza, but they didn't get approved, and we didn't want to deal with all the confusion. Yeah. So we said we'll pass them out later. Yeah. I've just been forgetting to pass them out. Yeah. Oh, they're actually in the band. Okay. There's a couple in the band. Cool. So before you head out, we'll yeah. give you some. Yeah. I want you to sign it. Um, uh, yeah. we got you. I can frame it. Uh. Hang him and his I'm going to hang it up on my wall next to Tony Romo and next to Ronda Rousey. She has such an ugly signature, too. It's like so chicken scratch. Romo. Like when I do my drawings. His oh, writing. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was like, who? He doesn't even yeah. understand his own writing sometimes. <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, Man, can no, you my write signature's this garbage. That's, no. why, that's why I stopped <laughs> putting my signature at the bottom. So like, no, I'm just yeah, really? really? <laughs> I have a, like, we do claim sales. I'll be like, hey, what's that say? I'm the one writing in the notebook. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's like. Like, I always have to rewrite his timestamps and stuff like that. You know, it's called me. Um, and because he just, it's like, his handwriting is so bad. Yeah. Yeah. I was always that way, too. I was, it was, like I said, we were excited to come out to Rachel. She was excited. I was excited. I was like, man, I got to. Like, I've known y'all for a while. Like, I followed you from when you're doing your ho- the hotel pop swaps. And then when you went to the, the, the bizarre place. Yeah. I would, I would go there, like, every week. And yeah. Even though, even though, like, an hour away, I would drive yeah. out there. And I would still go up, you know, you like, hang with us. Crispy. Once it's crispy and spinners, I'm gonna go buy something from them and Manny. Yeah. Cause you, you and Manny and spinners were out there. Yeah. So I would go out to there, and then from there, that guy. That's been a long time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's just things that come full circle. My, our business grew up with Lon, y'all, yeah. and Jaime. Well, yeah. I remember when you started. Yeah. You know, then I got this off of a uh, Marcos. You know, he yeah, traded. Know. He, I bought his lot, and they came with the pops. And he I was like, want to go into it. I know, I've house. been tracking. I've been trying. I've been trying to track the fresh one that I did. So I was like, I want to have one of the originals, like yeah. the very fresh yeah. ones. And this is the first one. This is the first one. And then the Dragon Ball Z one was the... The Goku, right? One. No. This one was first. And then I did a, a, a sword, art, sword, sword art... Art one. online? Oh, the yes. For, uh, for Kahari. Okay. And then I did that Dragon Ball Z. So, so this is the first one you ever made? Yeah. That's and I had it? very first one. Wow. I had it for a while. Do you have that exact this is, one? I gave this back to him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude, this is how I got my, I my you, custom. I can tell you exactly what wow, date it was. Dude. It was... Go and picture of Marco. Let me text you that. Yeah. The very first one I ever did, Marco, him, because he had seen that. that I didn't. Well, no, it's the second one I made. 
So I did my own. I had to make an Iron Man for myself. And Marco okay. saw it. And Marco was like, dude, I want one. Yeah. That was the second one I ever made. And that was back in... Damn, I did Mario's phone all the way to... to by the way, I left mine in the kitchen. Can we get it? No, no, I left okay. it in the kitchen sink. I'm a okay. Kid, so. Speaking of sink, I love your mom's sink. It's really cute. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Shout out, mom. Shout I out, mom's sink. <laughs> I know. Her, I know. I gotta make your mom a cup. Every time I see your mom, I keep forgetting to make her. Oh, she wants a cowboy cup. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, well, she's got. Oh, the... I actually did get a cup. I had like two or three Yeti blue ones left. Like there this one. one. Right? Yeah. She yeah, she wants that. Yeah. No, she yeah, but she wants the blue, blue one. Yeah, the dark blue, yeah. Yeah. The dark blue one. Yeah. Yeah. The dark blue one. Yeah. yeah. All, all the cowboy ones I had left. Oh, I'm the one that got them. Right? Yeah. yeah. She was so <laughs> mad. <laughs> said, Isaiah kept trying to come up. You want this one too? I said okay. Yeah. <laughs> she was mad because there wasn't any left. We took them all. Mhm. Like, really like, you want a teal one? She said, "Dang, no cowboy's color." I made I made this one. The very second one I ever made. I made it October second. Of 2019. Damn. Dude, that feels like forever. Three years ago. Yeah. It was it. One, two. One, <laughs> Three years yeah, ago. Yes, three years yeah. ago. Yeah. I made this Literally. one three years ago. Yeah. And then it was one for Kahari, and then it was... It was wow, dude. That's yeah. insane. So, three years ago, from that to this. That's and amazing. Been dope. Full circle, bro. Yeah? Full circle. It's crazy that I'm the last one that had it. Before I got back to you. Yeah. And now you're here bringing it back. It's so cool. Yeah, like it's dope. Full circle. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't even but, think, does this one even have our logo on the bottom? No. No. I don't, I don't even think you had a logo. No. No. <laughs> Did you? I have a logo. <laughs> back then we were still going as, back we still going as Unique Creations. Oh. You know, in the shirts. Dude, I, you're, I knew I remember that, that name. I you're forgot You're to the channel, obviously. Yeah. I was like, Unique Creations. I said, I know that name. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, we already branded, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, we went, everyone always asks, what does E&R stand for? Yeah. And I was like, Edgar and Rachel. <laughs> yeah. You know, at first, the first time I started. At first, it was just me doing this. Yeah. yeah. And then it wasn't until we went to this, and, like, uh, Rachel was like, I want to be mentioned in the business. So I was like, let's just make sure we both our names. I was never, yeah. I was always in the back. I was never in yeah. the front. Like, now I'm always, now, now the Etsy is under my name. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah, I know, I hate right. <laughs> Rachel, you did a badass job. Oh yeah, Rachel. Oh, how about you design it and you make it? Yeah. Cause you're getting all the credit. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So you know, like I'm, I was always in the back. I see the reviews on that scene. Oh, Rachel did an amazing job with this. Oh, Her customer service awesome. was amazing. We <laughs> communicated the whole way. Like the fuck? She, she shipped. Stuff. She threw a label on it and said <laughs> that's all she did. <laughs> Hey, but yeah, that's a lot of work. Hey. It is a lot of work. <laughs> I hate packaging, personally. Hey, I, I, I love it. Too. I'll, I'm make, fast at I'll it. make cases all day, but I, I'll make sure you got five over there to pack, and then you have another four about to come up now, too. I pack so fast, though. I just line them up, and mm-hmm. I'm like, shoot, sometimes it takes me 30 minutes to pack one pop. Nah. Just because I hate packing. <laughs> that's, a question, that's, a, that's a question I do want to ask you. Uh, that's what I wanted to ask you. Why don't y'all go, like, I have a plan. You, you're doing it now, the online, but Crispy, what about you? What, uh, like, you never plan on doing online? Uh, man, honestly, bro, it takes the fun out of it for me. It does? I did, I did do it for a little bit, and uh, I, I'm more of like in the gutter kind, in the trenches. You know, I enjoy being at the shows, traveling. I truly do, man. And, and I think it keeps it more fun for me because a lot of people, they come to the shows just to see me. Like, yeah, hey, what does he have? And I don't take the same inventory every time. So, I don't know. For me, it's, uh, it's that's part of the fun. You know what I mean? I can get online and wear anything I want, you know? And uh, if I offer that same thing to everybody else, there's no fun in that for me. Yeah. I uh, Earlier he said, you know, if you have the pops, they'll buy them. I agree with that to some extent, but in my in my point of view, I always sell myself. It's like yeah. an experience yeah. whenever somebody yeah. comes to shop. Because so, yeah. I cut it up with them, catch up, talk about, like, common interests, like yeah. wrestling with Rigo. Uh, I met Sean through Offer Up. That's how Sean and I met originally. And uh, we talked about like rock bands and like 80s music, movies. We, uh, like outside, it's what's kind of funny is that most people that talk to Sean only see like the business side of it, 181 Comics. 
and me and him are always talking about like different genres of music and um, movies. Like, mm-hmm. but he's a huge movie buff. Most people don't know that, but the dude can like. Oh, you know, I know. Yeah, yeah. he's he's yeah. huge he into that. Because he bought all my Joker prints, all my yeah. my uh, all the movie based prints that I had. Yeah. He bought them all. Off. Yeah, and so that's part of me. I like that. And uh, a guy that we used to run around town with and do out of town shows, Ray, always used to tell me the same thing. He's like, everybody can sell pops, but you know, you got to sell a story too. Yeah. And I kind of like incorporate that with my day to day and it's gotten me to where I'm at now. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I was getting at. Like if yeah. you don't, if people aren't buying your pops, yeah. obviously it's you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, what I was yeah, saying. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. My dad's yeah. a salesman now yeah. and he makes really good sales, but that's because he, I literally, he can go anywhere and he can make friends. Like yeah. he goes, he works the state fairs and he mm-hmm. can meet all the vendors and makes friends with them. And yeah. I do. I enjoy the atmosphere. It's just, yeah. I think for us, the reason we do the story is because just don't have time. Yeah. Work has me so busy in my accident. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 for sure. I know we've talked about this before. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I, you had, I had to be able to, to sell my stuff and not have to go to every pop shop because, yeah. like I said, ever since my accident, I get worn out, man. At the end of the week, especially on a busy week, yeah. Yeah. come Friday, my shoulders are shot, my knees my knees shot from he takes the up and down every day. So, like, I like doing the shows, but I don't, I don't, except if I wanted to, I could go and, and, and pay to, to get a spot at, yeah, at, at the Fan Expo yeah. And, yeah. and get a spot at these bigger shows and go out of town with, like, the retro yeah. places and stuff like that in Houston. Yeah. But I just, I, I have to have a day of relaxing. I have to. Like, I, I work way, not only that, the kids. Like the kids sometimes get tired of it. Yeah, yeah sure. for well, sure. Well, Bella has a full schedule, too. She's got bands, yeah, and but, you know, we work around. I, want, I told Rachel, like, I want to start doing more shows. I want to get her shit more out there. Like, I want to do more. We got an upcoming Zobi show in December. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Tell about that real quick. We'll be out there. Oh, yeah. We'll be out for Zobi. They're doing that. There's a second one they've done this year, but this one is going to be on December 17th at, I forgot the location, but it's only Houston, uh, but they're going to have, I think they're, they're already, they already booked like five voice actors. Mm-hmm. Wow. Already. And because like I said, you know, Zobi does the autograph, so they get, yeah. they get all these better, you know, higher end. Yeah. Guys that you know they would cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but we'll we got out a spot there. there. That'll, be our, that'll be our first out of town, like out of, mm-hmm. out of DFW nice. show. Like I want to see how this is going to end up because it's probably going to be a hot mess the first time. So, yeah. Oh. Hit him. Well, way to find out. Yeah. Uh, I know. <laughs> Hit him, miss. I'm trouble just going five hours away to Odessa. I'm just like. Mm. Yeah. But I mean, it's the same, same, same distance. Five hours. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, man. You, I mean, you, you don't get tired of it, man? You, don't I, you know, I do. I do. I get burned out, but I take breaks. He knows. I yeah. step away, like you said earlier, the hiatus and all that. I do step away from it all. and uh, You do a lot of it. But the thing is, I'm, 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 I'm not just pops. I do other stuff. You know, like I'm yeah, big into vintage and, and retro games gaming. And stuff. Yeah, so uh, to be honest with you, I think I told yeah, I told you I was like already getting burned out with pops. Yeah. Really bad. So I had to figure yeah. something else out. Mm-hmm. And um, I'll stop doing a lot of the pop shows, like the pop swaps, I just stopped doing them. And uh, the only one that I even go to or attend is his, honestly, right? In the past two yeah. years, you're, you're, his is the only pop swap I go to. West Dallas hasn't even had a pop swap in yeah, so long. That's because yeah. so busy. Yeah, yeah, busy. Yeah, exactly. He gets yeah, called out a lot. Yeah, so that's probably the only other pop swap I'll ever attend. But outside of that, man, I've just been switching it up, and it's kind of me. Like, oh, besides, besides your own. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Swap, yeah, the swap of pollution. Swap yeah, yeah, so that's... That's keeping us busy like yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah behind the scenes. The next one. Yeah, and well, you know, the people well, at home don't know, but yeah, we'll be working on something maybe yeah. really soon. Yeah. Good. Yeah, and I like getting backpacks and stuff from you. I know, dude. And McDonald's one, I'm like, when did I have Bro, you told me that when I first got it on a message. I was like, all right. I was like, okay. He, he's like, oh, yeah, I got you this, but I don't know the one. I'm like, yeah. why would, why, yeah. why would, okay? <laughs> That's what we're, 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 we're getting at that point too. Like we're yeah. we're getting so I wouldn't been branching out away from cases. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. That's why I say recently, recently these past shows we've done, we have a lot more than just. Oh, dude, your pants are killing it, by the way. Oh, oh, my oh that's God. our that's our breadwinner right oh, now. Oh my God! Shows. Like, I, uh, we make. Dude, and your pricing is insane. I'm like, I, that, that's the first thing I told you guys that's at Dusty when I when y'all debuted, or well, at least when I saw them. Yeah, I was like. How much? And I started buying. Cheap, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, dude, it's yes. Great. I was like, this is a present for so and so, this and that way. Yeah. And and we had coasters, and yeah. I, I had a certain amount of coasters that I knew that he would want. Yeah. So, like, I'm like, 
here, you know, take whatever which one you want. He's like, I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> they were all. That's why Zayn knows what Jay likes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's so you guys cool. Are, are, I mean, that's one of our next shows, too, Dusty Attic. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. It's going to be, like, I guess a pre-holiday show. Yeah, for sure. So I'm sure you guys are going to have all kinds of stuff for that. Are y'all going or no? Yeah. yeah. yeah I was going to say, y'all are yeah, right. I think, I think we're neighbors now. Like, yeah, officially yeah, neighbors that's now. That's the only show that, that one, y'all, that's the only possible to do now. Like, I don't really, Yeah. I'm so busy with coming up with a new product and, and also working from work and having to relax that the only shows I do now are is y'all's. Yeah. Uh, Haim is if he does one and does it toilet. That's it. Well, what's good about that one too? It's it's a quick show. I mean, yeah, yeah it's not too far. Well, I guess for you guys it's a little yeah. bit yeah, far, far, but minutes. I mean, outside of that, the show ends early. You get to go home, relax, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it's indoors, roomy, indoors, roomy, yeah. Roomy, yeah. Yeah. lots of space. So. Never too hot either. Yeah, anytime yeah. I can get home to my pugs, it's the best. <laughs> I stay laying down in bed with my pugs. I have one on one side and one on the other side, and I just stay there. Like Where are you, me. bro? Where are you at? I'm either designing or... <laughs> in the bed to the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The designer or I'm on, on Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah and he, he's like always like, why is the dogs always with you? That's not fair. <laughs> I, got, I, I got another pug for me and he's stuck to you like a chiclet. And I'm like, oh, yeah. my dogs. It'd be. <laughs> it'd be like that. Is that still recording? No. They cut off. No? Uh, okay. Oh, well. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Did it die? Well, if that was still going, um, as always, thank you guys for showing up and uh, sharing your story with us. Always. Um, Spinny, any closing remarks? No, I'm just grateful y'all were able to come. Yeah. Super happy to have y'all. Y'all been amazing. Thank you yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, can't wait to, to for part two. Support channel. Support y'all's, yeah. y'all's, y'all's endeavors, man. And, and thank you. Yeah, we do appreciate it. Um, Alrighty. Close this right, out, brother. Uh, as always, go guys. Is it still going? This one's out. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, we're all out. <laughs> we're all out? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I think it just happened, though. It literally just happened. I don't know. I kept looking at it to check. <laughs> Imagine it kind of like an hour ago. Oh, my God. Let me see that phone, bro. Is it even? Hold on. Has it been recording? <laughs> no, it's off, bro. <laughs> Oh, the low battery kicked in. Oh. Dude, because we went over two hours and Is it still almost three hours. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's still recording. Oh, it's still recording. Okay. Closing remarks. Bye. 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 Bye.